Saying that, I still haven't figured out how women work. You guys definitely know how I feel about this machine. Oil looks good. Gas is a little low. Put some fresh gas in it. Hopefully she starts up, hopefully she runs. As you guys know, this thing's on its deathbed. I've told you that before. Once again. Dirty pig drank all my gas. You better run after doing that. My idea, pressure wash it, start working on the thing. There's no point in working with grime and grease and dirt. Gets in the way, very inefficient. This pressure washer job, probably knock about two hours off of work if the machine stayed dirty. Saying that, I'd like to save two hours of my life. Let's clean it up. Which one is the bigger pile? The Kodiak or the BMW? The BMW actually runs. I just got done pressure washing this thing and I'm not very impressed at all. I'll show you some before shots and some after shots so you can see the comparison. There's a lot of crap that's just like stuck on there. I've never seen stuff stuck so much as this is. So I'm kind of disappointed. I'm, I'm kind of regretting this. Like it doesn't look like somebody really took care of it because this stuff is just caked right on there. I honestly think this is a worse investment than the BMW. Like the BMW was at least a car. Like cars go for better money than four wheelers do. I don't have any plan to sell this thing. I do want to ride it, it's just I wish it was in better shape. Because as redneck as I am, and how, how terrible I dress, this, these are my work clothes, that's all there is to it. If I wanted to dress in nice clothes, I'd be going through nice clothes like no tomorrow. I wear the good stuff when I go on dates, go out. But when I'm just working on stuff and getting greasy and grimy, there's no point in wasting clothes. Trust me, I clean up real well, unlike this thing. But I honestly do hope that this thing is easier than it appears because right now it looks like a disaster. It is a disaster, no doubt about it. Like honestly, the chemicals that I used should have ate that grease right off the engine, right out of a lot of places, and it didn't. I let it sit for like a good hour. Granted, I'd get better results if I let it sit longer, but still, I guess I am gonna have to work on it when it's dirty. Luckily, it's not going to be as dirty. See, this is where being too self-confident can get you into trouble and backfire. Because I, I believe in myself and I know that I can fix just about anything. Saying that, I still haven't figured out how women work. But that's okay. Nobody has. <laughs> Don't be offended if you're a woman. I'm just saying self-confident probably did end up costing me more than I should have paid for this. Granted, I did save 100 bucks by, you know, being patient. I explained that two videos ago. But no matter how I feel now, I'm stuck with it. But if I do fix it up, and maybe in the future it goes up for sale, I will state it right here. This four-wheeler will be 10 times, if not 20 times, in better shape then as it is now. After I get my nice hands on it, she's gonna be a top-notch machine. And I want to be a machine freak on it! Yeah! I was kind of on the fence whether or not I thought I made a good purchase or not. 
still on the fence. But I, but I am excited to finally tear into this thing, try to make it a little bit better. If we fix one thing today, then it's better, but I wanna fix multiple things. Saying that, I hate this frame here. I hate the look of that frame there. That's not acceptable. I went to welding school. That's usually what students put down when they first enter. I'll show you what we put down after we learn something. But before I go ahead and show you a better weld than that, because just about anything will beat that, except for something that I guess isn't there, I wanna show how this weld is affecting the entire frame. If you look right here, this side is higher than this side. That's no good. That's why they had those makeshift like lifters or spacers to like level the back rack. I plan on cutting this. This piece of frame is actually bent as well. This one right here, I want to re-bend that as well. After analyzing exactly what needs to be done here in order to get this side of the frame up, it's, go it's going to be a lot more work than anticipated. First, I have to begin by cutting this weld in half, bending this bar, and then also tweaking this bar. I don't know exactly how I'm going to accomplish this, but I do have faith, and luckily enough, I have some skills. Hopefully those two things are enough, because if not, then we're in trouble. Small disc problems. D I S K. That's not going to cut all the way through. My brother's working on his power steering line. How's that coming? Maybe you should make a video on it. <laughs> I gotta work on the quad. Remember kids, being safe is important. That goes for you too, Cole. What is? Safety is important. I gotta feel like breaking out the orange gloves. I haven't worn the orange gloves in a while. Seth bought these for me. Seth, I really appreciate it. These are the sexiest gloves I own. Say a little prayer before we go ahead and cut this frame in half. God! <laughs> Baby! I got a leak in the line. A leak? Is it the like hose is leaking? I think so, yeah. Well, that's good. We gotta put the four wheeler project aside right now. My brother needs a little advice. Oh, yeah. And you haven't even removed a line or a clamp or anything? No, I was just doing that on this side. We found the source of the leak. Hopefully once he changes his power steering fluid, it seals itself back up. The Duramax had a similar situation. I put a new seal in it, along with power steering fluid, and even with the new seal, it leaked for a little bit. And then, then once the power steering fluid got all the way through the system, it sealed itself. So hopefully it'll fix itself on this car. Does that sound like a plan, Cole? Oh yeah. Fixing itself? I like that. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love when stuff fixes itself. Hey, I need I need something to happen in my four-wheeler. Hopefully that'll fix itself. Uh, good luck. Thank you. Now when I cut this, the frame actually went up in the air. This stayed at the same spot, this went up. That's telling me that this frame is in the right spot, because as we know, the back side's just slouched. So if we can bring this part up to that part, then we should be pretty close to where this frame's gotta be. The only problem is, is we're dealing with two other solid pieces of rail, or pipe, whatever you wanna call it. So I think what would be the easiest, it might sound time consuming right now, but I think it'd be beneficial if we remove the back end of the muffler, get that out of the way, then we can get a sludge hammer in there, bend one of the pieces of frame, and then somehow stretch this other piece. Worst case scenario, we start cutting things and start re-welding it. But one thing's for sure, after we're done, it's gonna be right. Once again. So this weld actually failed. This nut right here, as far as I know, is supposed to be welded to the frame so that when I turn this, that nut doesn't turn and the bolt should come out. But as you can see, it's just turning, which means we're not gonna be able to get the bolt out unless we get a wrench on there. And 
Maybe it's not supposed to be welded. The wrench did go on there pretty easily. I take back what I said. This actually isn't supposed to be welded because as you can see, when I put this bolt back in, that nut actually stays in place. That's what this piece of steel does. It keeps it on track. So you are supposed to get a wrench out and do it the old fashioned way. I want to end this 3D Machines production by thanking all you machine freaks, the 3D Machines crew, for watching this video. I hope everybody had a merry, merry Christmas. I sure did. Now, these aren't my favorite gifts. I'm not going to pick favorites, but I just find it ironic. I wanted gloves, and I ended up getting two pair. These ones are deer leather, so I guess they're supposed to insulate well. So these gloves will probably be used on the skidoo once we pull that out. And then when I go snowboarding, maybe I'll use these. But what I do like about these gloves is they have like a windshield wiper kind of thing right here. And I think these would come in handy snowmobiling. I can scrape my helmet. But I like mittens. At least when it comes to snowmobiling. If I want to make a snowball, then I'd like to have some gloves, but... Let me know your favorite gift in the comment section below. I asked you guys yesterday. You guys had some awesome gifts given to you. I like reading that kind of stuff. Maybe you enjoyed your time with your family more than the gifts you received. If so, leave that in the comment section below. Don't forget to smash the hell out of that like button. Hopefully your helping thumbs, I mean hands, will help me fix this Kodiak. She's a disaster. But one thing's for sure, I'm going to get it done. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow for the next 3D Machines production. Until tomorrow, 3D Machines out. Yeah, yeah.